I'm Kate Hahn with TV Insider, and we're speaking with James Badge Dale and Marley Shelton of 1923, Taylor Sheridan's new Yellowstone prequel. You'd be Mrs. Dutton. I would. Seems we're neighbors. I've acquired the Strafford Ranch. Well, this is the Yellowstone, and you have no rights here. So you two are another Dutton power couple, and I want to talk about relationships, because that's how we really get to know people, right? Yeah, just by yourself. We don't really get to know you, but relationships are how we know each other. So, um, James, can you talk about this marriage and why it works? (laughs) I, I try to, I'm trying to figure out how to keep things together in my real life. I, 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 I think, you know, there's something very dynamic about Marley as an actor and she just has this, she's incredibly present and she can ping pong wherever we all go. And, and I just, you know, we, we, we kind of stay locked into each other. And I think in this time period, you just, um, you know, when when people find these 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 beautiful relationships that kind of work, I, I, I we were playing with how how does how did this relationship survive over twenty years? Just in addition to what Badge was saying, it was like there's a sense of of longing, and the stakes are so high. I mean, you know, his character is constantly going on these cattle drives with the rest of the Dutton men, um, and that's their livelihood and their survival. So it has to happen and they are people of the ranch. But at the same time, that leaves this kind of gaping loneliness and danger that kind of stokes the fire, I think, for their 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 love and kindles the flame, you know, because there's every time he goes out, it, who knows if he'll return even and there's no you know there's no way to even know there's no cell phones there's no way of communicating so there's I think um it's amazing to think about this was not that long ago um that people were carving out these incredibly rugged um adventurous um demanding lives um in order to to you know settle this region right well and you know from what I've seen uh Marley, your character is described as dutiful, but I'm sure she's a lot, she's a lot more than that. Uh, she's she's uh, home. We also hear she's home a lot with Kara Dutton, played by Helen Mirren, who it seems like a powerful character. So what's the relationship between those two women like? I think that they are in the trenches together. I think that there's, you know, they both deal with this um, really intense, challenging existence of, of being completely devoted to their family and their their spouses and their life on the ranch and then when you know and part of that is these is their you know beloved men going off into the great unknown maybe to never come back and I think that so so because I think they have each other to kind of lean on and I think that there's sort of an unspoken there's a stoicism to this life and a hard bitten stoicism. And I think that there's an unspoken, let's just keep, keep all the trains moving on time. Let, you know, I, I think that the duties on the ranch, the, the just running of the ranch when, when their men are gone, just keeps them kind of focused and, and grounded and from kind of falling into the trap of loneliness. And, you know, I think that, that, in a way they're just doers um and that kind of that forward momentum is what keeps them afloat right well yeah talk about being doers james your character has to go out as marley was saying every day uh be away from the house be out in this kind of semi you know still wild land and he's with his uncle played by harrison ford how do these two men relate together? Is there a parallel between how Marley's character relates to Helen's character? What's their relationship? Yeah, I, I think, you know, part of the brilliance of what Taylor has written is that all these relationships are kind of dealing with similar conflicts at different levels and points of time. You know, you have Jacob and Kara who have, who have, who have been doing this for obviously longer than, than ourselves and then you know uh um 
uh, myself and Marley playing on this level. And then we have our son played by Darren Mann, who's, who's kind of entering into his own version. And you see the same patterns playing out over and over again. And it's, I think the question comes up is like, how do you change from generation to generation? Mm. And what, what are you learning from the past generation? And um, are you becoming more proficient? Are you becoming a better human being or, or are you not? I did want to ask, I guess like you guys got paired up with some of the biggest name actors of our era in Harrison Ford and, and Helen Mirren. Can you talk about working with them? Um, I don't know if either of you had worked with them before. Um, James, do you want to start like you and Harrison? What, what was that like? Was that? Um, I, I I can't, words are hard to kind of, describe how impressed I was and still am obviously with with um Harrison and Helen their their professionalism their creativity their passion for the work their their sense of humor um the, the you know I mean I mean they they're there before I am I do you know how many times I and I'm someone who's like I'm I'm at work I don't go back to the trailer much I'm I'm at work and how many times Harrison would like I'd be like okay I'm ready I pop on the set Harrison's like where were you man I've been waiting for you what's <laughs> what's the matter with you you know um they're uh they're really how do I say I walked away from this job more passionate and more inspired to act than I've been in in many years wow that is yeah. that is amazing Marley what yeah. about you I agree. I mean, obviously, I I was a massive fan of both of their their work for so long. But then to honestly say I'm a bigger fan of them as people, even now that I've had the privilege of, you know, spending some time with them, they they are just it's so aspirational. They are so like like Badge was saying, they're so game and their professionalism, their set etiquette, their craft. Um, it's just it's inspiring because it's like, oh my gosh, I, that is what, that is what, I, that's the North Star. Like that is what I want yeah. to be and continue to work towards. 1923 premieres December 18th on Paramount. For more insider videos like this, click subscribe.